Here is a punch biopsy, and you can see a superficial mid and deep inflammatory infiltrate. The overlying epidermis looks mildly spongiotic, maybe a little bit of acanthosis as well. But the pathology, the primary pathology here is really the actions in the dermis. So you can see this kind of layered lymphohistiocytic appearance. You can see it's kind of horizontally distributed, separated by this necrobiotic collagen or smudgy collagen, which is undergoing some type of degenerative change. So with this degenerative change of the um, collagen with the parallel bands of lymphohistiocytic inflammation uh, that looks like a cake layer, the top diagnosis you should be considering is a necrobiosis lipoidica. Um, it's been traditionally referred to as necrobiosis lipoidica diabeticorum um, because most patients, a good significant amount of patients, um, the majority I would say that have NLD also, or that have necrobiosis lipoidica also have a concurrent diabetes. But most patients with diabetes do not have necrobiosis lipoidica diabeticorum. So it's probably just better to refer to it as necrobiosis lipoidica without the diabeticorum, just because it may or may not be associated. Um, but most often times, if the patient's presenting with the clinical indurated plaque on the leg and the biopsy suggests necrobiosis lipoidica, then you should rule out uh, concurrent diabetes and make sure that they're not going with an undiagnosed diabetes. So um, this is a really nice example of necrobiosis lipoidica.